Between the 1930s and 1950s, the celebration of Halloween in the United States went through some exciting changes. Let's dive into how Halloween trends shifted during these three decades. In the 1930s, Halloween was less about trick-or-treating and more about community gatherings. People would host parties in their homes that featured games like bobbing for apples, fortune-telling, and costume contests. Costumes were mostly homemade during this time. America was facing the Great Depression, and many people could not afford to buy ready-made costumes or decorations. They had to make their own using paper, fabric, or whatever materials they had at home. Ghosts, witches, and black cats were popular costumes, but these were different from the store-bought versions we know today. It was common to see kids and teenagers engaging in pranks. Some were playful, but others caused significant damage, including breaking windows with bricks, igniting fires, snipping phone lines, and flipping cars. Many of these pranks turned violent, with physical assaults occurring frequently. This caused some cities to consider banning the holiday. American parents set up haunted houses in basements or communities to deter kids from Halloween mischief. Initially, these were simple homemade setups offering entertainment for all. Over time, larger groups like churches and schools hosted haunted houses, often for fundraising. These attractions grew more sophisticated, featuring special effects, actors, and themes. In the 1930s, radio was a key entertainment source in America, with special Halloween episodes featuring suspenseful stories. A notable example was Orson Welles' The War of the Worlds in 1938. This simulated news broadcast of a Martian invasion caused panic among some listeners, though the full extent of the panic is still debated today. Horror films from the 1930s became iconic and have been linked to Halloween ever since. Universal Studios released classic movies introducing characters like Dracula and Frankenstein. These films stood out for their atmospheric settings, music, and special effects. Actor Bela Lugosi's portrayal of Dracula in 1931 with his captivating presence set a benchmark for vampire roles. These movies provided an escape during tough times like the Great Depression. Today, their themes are still prevalent in Halloween costumes and decorations. In the 1940s, World War II led to Halloween resource shortages. Less candy, costumes, and decorations were available due to rationing. The government asked people to conserve essential resources for the war. Children gave away metal toys for scrap and some towns delayed Halloween to save electricity and avoid drawing attention from potential enemy threats. However, Halloween was also a time of fun and entertainment for people who needed a break from the hardships and uncertainties of the war. Many communities organized parties, parades, carnivals, and haunted houses to keep children and adults entertained. Trick-or-treating started to become popular as a way to promote goodwill among neighbors. Some of the most popular costumes in 1940s America were inspired by the war, such as soldiers, sailors, nurses, and Rosie the Riveter. Others were influenced by movies, comics, and radio shows, such as Superman, Snow White, and The Shadow. Some costumes were also based on historical or mythical figures, such as pirates, cowboys, witches, and fairies. Some people made their own costumes from old clothes, paper, cardboard, or fabric scraps. Others bought or rented costumes from stores or catalogs. Halloween decorations in the 1940s were mostly homemade or recycled from previous years. People used pumpkins, corn stalks, apples, candles, and paper cutouts to create spooky or festive scenes. Some people also used war-related items, such as helmets, gas masks, or flags, to decorate their homes or yards. Popular themes for decorations were ghosts, skeletons, black cats, bats, spiders, and jack-o'-lanterns. 
Halloween candy in the 1940s was scarce and expensive due to sugar rationing and shortages. Some people gave out homemade treats, such as popcorn balls, cookies, or candy apples. Others gave out non-food items, such as pencils, stickers, or coins. Many also played tricks on children who came to their doors, such as giving them toothbrushes or soap. The 1940s was a golden era for Halloween movies, captivating audiences with tales of horror and the supernatural. Some of the decade's standout films included The Wolfman, where Lon Chaney Jr. transforms into a fearsome creature, and Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein, which combined horror with comedy, introducing iconic monsters like Dracula and the Mummy in a lighter context. These films set the stage for future horror movies. In the 1950s, Halloween combined old and new traditions, leading to the Halloween celebrations we know today. World War II and the Korean War were over. The economy was growing and more families were moving to the suburbs. As finances improved, many families increased their spending on Halloween decorations. Homes in the suburbs had more space to display these decorations. While pumpkin and turnip jack-o'-lanterns remained popular, many people started using store-bought, lighted plastic and ceramic ones. Window and door decorations became common. Kids crafted paper witches and ghosts, drawing inspiration from magazines. Yards displayed homemade wooden or cardboard tombstones and spiders. Inside, homes featured candles, streamers, and orange and black tablecloths for Halloween parties. Pop culture in the 50s transformed Halloween costumes. Instead of homemade horror outfits, kids increasingly chose store-bought options like Disney characters, astronauts, princesses, and more. Western films were popular at this time, making cowboy costumes a top choice. Mass-produced costumes from Ben Cooper were trendy, with characters like Zorro, Tarzan, and Davy Crockett being favorites. Trick-or-treating boomed after World War II when sugar rationing ended and candy became widely available. Kids between ages 5 and 10 would visit homes on October 31st from sunset until around 9 p.m. They stuck to homes, not malls or stores, and didn't worry about candy safety. Instead of fun-sized bars, Full-sized candy or bags of candies tied with ribbons were common. Some even gifted apples containing a shiny penny. Parents usually stayed home to hand out candy. Some kids used bags for candy, while others used pillowcases because they could hold more. In cities with apartment buildings, kids would visit multiple families in one building, getting even more candy. The 1950s saw an expansion of Halloween parades and costume contests as community events. Halloween parades were a tradition that started in the early 20th century, but they became more elaborate and widespread in the 1950s as towns and cities competed to attract tourists and media attention. Costume contests were a common feature of these parades and also in school and workplace parties. People would show off their creativity and originality in making or buying their costumes. As TV became more affordable and broadcasting expanded, its popularity surged in the 50s. People tuned in to a diverse range of shows from sitcoms to cartoons. One early Halloween special was Disney's Trick or Treat in 1952, a short animation film starring Donald Duck and his nephews Huey, Dewey, and Louie. They partner with a witch, Hazel, to teach Donald a lesson about sharing candy. This short later became part of The Wonderful World of Disney. Over three transformative decades from the 1930s to the 1950s, Halloween in the U.S. evolved from community gatherings to a fusion of traditions that shaped our modern celebrations. Through wars, economic challenges, and cultural shifts, the spirit of Halloween endured, adapting and reflecting the changing times. Let us know your thoughts in the comments section. If you liked this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe for more videos like this, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks for watching the History Stop, and we'll see you next time.